Epic Games just released a voting system that you can now apply to your games. This is great for any type of minigame map where you have multiple minigames that players can vote on which game to play next then have the players teleported to the winning minigame area. This is what I'm going to show you how to do today. Before I get started, I just want to give a shout out to my members of the channel, DCE Games and ZMB Zombie. It's greatly appreciated and helps motivate me to make these great tutorials for you. Now let's hop right into it. So we have two new devices that were added, voting group device and voting option device. We will start with voting on the next minigame to play. I have set up three areas here, minigame one, two and three. These will be the areas of the minigames and we will eventually set up teleporters that will teleport the players to the minigame area with the most votes after the voting is complete. Let's add in one voting group device and three voting option devices. In the voting group device, we want to assign a voting group name. I am just going to call this minigame choice. We can select how many votes one player can have. So if you want the player to be able to vote for multiple minigames, then just increase this to the number of options you have set up. If you only want the player to have one vote, but want to allow the player to switch their vote, you would just check this box here to allow vote switching. Now, so far, one of the only things that seem to be a little buggy is the built-in time limit in the device. I haven't got it to work just yet, but it is an easy fix to just add your own timer device to do the same thing. So we will do just that. We will change the duration to like 10 seconds or something just for the tutorial, change the completion behavior to reset, and then we will change the timer running text to something like voting ends in dot dot dot. Now let's place two triggers down. One trigger will begin voting and the other trigger will end the voting. There are lots of ways to set up how the voting starts, but it will depend on your game. So to keep it simple, I will be doing it this way. First trigger will be called trigger voting begin, and the other trigger will be called trigger voting end. So now we will go to our voting group device and we will go down to the functions and we will begin voting when receiving from trigger voting begin. Then we will end vote when receiving from trigger vote end on triggered. Then we will go to our timer device functions and we will set when trigger voting begin is triggered. Then for our trigger voting end, we will scroll down to the functions and then we want it to trigger from timer device on success. Next, we want to set up the voting process. We will just use three options for this tutorial. So we will add in three button devices. Then we will add in three pop-up dialogue devices. In the dialogue devices, we just want to add in a title and description, something like vote as the title and do you want to vote or remove your current vote as the description. Then we will change the responses to vote and remove current vote. Then we will link them to show when the appropriate button is pushed. Then we just want to copy the pop-up dialog device, change the descriptions, then change the button responses, and then set the functions. <laughs> Next, we will add in three voting option devices. We will add in mini game choice because that was our group name that we put in earlier with the voting group device. Now the second piece I believe is bugged a little because nothing actually shows up in game, but I'm just going to name these to game one, game two, and game three in the voting option text fields. <coughs> then we will scroll down to the functions and we will cast vote when receiving from our pop-up dialog device on responding to button one. Then we will resign vote when receiving from the same pop-up dialog device on responding to button two. We will do the same thing with our other voting options. We will do the same thing with our other voting option devices along with their coordinated pop-up dialog devices. Next, we will create three more pop-up dialogue devices that will show a confirmation message of what they voted for. The title I will just put as voted successfully and the description for the first one will be you have voted for game one successfully. Second one will say game two and the third one will say game three. 
Then we will change the response type to one response and set the response to just say, okay. Next, we'll scroll down to the functions and set show when voting option device on voting option selected. Then we'll do the same thing with the other pop-up dialog devices. Then we need more pop-up dialog devices to show up, stating which option won when the voting has ended. So we will add another one in, change the title to voting has ended, then change the description to say something like the most votes is for game one. Change the response type to one response as well. Then in the functions, we will set show when voting option device on vote completed winner. Then we will do the same thing with two more dialogue devices. I'm just going to copy the one we just made two more times and change it accordingly. I'll change the description, then change the voting option device to our second one. Then we'll do the same thing for our third area, row. Now to show a better visual example, I have three areas here for each mini game. Each has a teleporter to that area so once the voting is complete, I want it to teleport players to the minigame area that won the votes. To do that, we need to add three teleporters. Then on our pop-up dialog devices that show the winning vote, we will simply link our teleporter to teleport to the correct dialog device on responding to button one. Now, if you want the amount of votes to be displayed visually, well, it's pretty simple. You just need a score manager device, which we will set the score value to zero, then set score change when activated to one, and change visible in game to only number. Then if we scroll down to functions, we want to set increment and link it to the voting option device on voting option selected. Then we want to set decrement to link to the same voting option device on voting option rescinded. Then we can just copy the score manager and change the voting option device to the correct one. Then we will end vote when receiving from trigger vote end on triggered. Then we will go to our, and then we should be good to go. So let's test it out. As you can see, it works. You now have a working voting system to use for your mini game selection. With Squid Game Creative coming out, this can surely help set up your mini games if you wanted to use a voting format. So that's going to be it for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And also feel free to join our Discord server if you need any extra help with your games. Thanks for sticking to the end here. It's greatly appreciated. Stay spicy. I'm out. Peace.